Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I really, really, really need to get this video up. This is my unique Christmas gift idea video. I've been literally making a little list of all of the gifts that I think would be really, really cool to give or to receive. You might even be asking for some of these as gifts. And I will have everything that I can linked in the description box down below. I feel like I have some pretty cool gift ideas here that might inspire you for some gifts for people that you know in your lives maybe hopefully i see a lot of gift guide videos going up over the last few days and weeks um and they're very very beauty and makeup based this is not going to be very beauty and makeup based there is some some beauty here all right but it's going to be mostly like unique stuff like presents that i think a lot of people would like to get i'm going to start off with something kind of beauty related and I'm gonna tell you about the Body Shops initiative at the moment. If you buy any of their gifts, their Christmas gifts, such as this strawberry premium collection, or this gift money box, or this House of Holland lip kit, it's the Play for Peace project where basically every single gift you buy, they will make a donation that will help Syrian children be educated through play. And it's just an amazing initiative. And I always support the body shop, obviously. They're totally cruelty free, a lot of vegan products. And yeah, uh, I'm really, really happy about that. So if you wanted to buy someone some body care or makeup bits, consider the body shop because it'll make you feel good too at the same time. Next is something I've been harping on about on Snapchat and Instagram and Facebook for a long time now. It won't come as any surprise. And you may notice it in my background right here. This is the essential oil diffuser I got probably maybe about a year ago now. And honestly, honestly, this is put on every single day in my apartment. I have lots of different essential oils and I create my own little blends. Some of them are absolutely horrible, but most of them are really, really nice. At the moment, I have an anti-stress one. I'm just gonna bring it up to the camera so you can hear how quiet this is. And as you can see, it's diffusing the essential oils into the air. It doesn't work off heat, so it's not dangerous. It's actually just cold water, and there's an element inside the product that sends the oil and water into the air. It's really, really nice. Oh, it's so good. Now this is a very, very budget friendly one. I think this one is just £13.99. However, if you want to spring for something a little bit fancier, a little bit bigger and more aesthetically pleasing, you could go for this beauty. I got this from Amazon, again, linked down below. This was a little bit more expensive. I can't remember exactly how much maybe 25 pounds or so. As you can see, it's quite a bit bigger than my other basic one. This one has a bigger tank, therefore it will diffuse for longer and it fills a larger room with scent. And honestly, I mean, you can tell it's definitely much prettier. And you can change the lights to different colors, which is really nice for ambience. And as you can hear, it's also quiet. Another question I get whenever I mention essential oil diffusing is, what essential oils do you get, Laura? And honestly, I'm not a pro when it comes to essential oils. However, I will link a really decent basic set that I got on Amazon in the description box down below as well. It's the one I started off with. It has really basic scents. I think it had lavender, eucalyptus, tea tree, orange, lemongrass, and mint maybe? I'm not, I can't really remember. It had six really decent basic essential oils to start off with. Honestly, I just looked up the reviews and it got okay reviews and it really kind of transitioned me into starting off with essential oils. So I will link that down below. It's not top quality, but it'll give you an idea of what scents you like and how to create blends and stuff. And other than that, I buy lots of my oils in Holland and Barrett. I find them really good and I get some off iherb.com as well. And I haven't really gotten any done so far, so yeah. This next one is a really heavy gift, so you probably won't be posting this long distance. And this is a Himalayan pink salt lamp. Not for everyone, possibly a little hippity-dippity, but I love, love, love this. I'm gonna put it down because it's really heavy, but I'll put it there where you can still see it. Personally, I really like it because it looks really pretty, as you can see. Salt lamps are said to pull water vapor from the air because the water vapor that is circulating in the air is said to carry allergens like pollen, dust, all sorts of tiny particles like that. And apparently the salt in the salt lamp pulls all those out of the air, which can help with allergens and respiratory problems. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist. I don't know about the, the workings, but it's really nice to have. And they're quite trendy at the moment as well. And I think they look really pretty, don't you? 
There's lots more alleged benefits for salt lamps. I will link a website down below and you can have a read for it yourself. I just think it looks really pretty personally. Next gift idea, and you might look at this and go, oh my God, seriously, Laura? But honestly, if this broke on me, I would want another one for Christmas. So this is my electric toothbrush. Lads, I must literally have this about, I reckon five or six years now. And honestly, if it did break, I would want another one immediately. I feel like my teeth don't ever feel quite as clean as when I use this. This is the Oral-B Smart Guide. I presume, <clears throat> oh no, this is the Triumph Professional Care. Um, I presume this doesn't even exist anymore because it's so old. Even the charge, I mean, you're supposed to be able to charge this up and take it with you for five or six days. However, I have to charge mine every single day because a full charge only gives me one brush of my teeth, it's gone that old, so I'd say this could be on the way out. But yeah, I think an electric toothbrush is a really, really cool gift and it's very practical, obviously, as well. I, again, I will have it linked down below. Next gift might be good for any aspiring bloggers or YouTubers and it would be a really nice camera. Obviously, obviously this is for the larger budget. What I'm filming on right now is the Sony A5100, which is a phenomenal camera for vlogging and for taking pictures. I also have my DSLR, but honestly, if I could go back in time, I probably would just stick with the Sony because it covers every base, really. I do use this for my sit-down videos usually because, I mean, this was expensive and I like to get use out of my things rather than just gathering dust in a drawer. In fact, I actually might sell this because this one does everything you need it to. It takes gorgeous pictures, it takes really nice video, as you can tell and it has the flippy screen, so it's literally everything you could ever need. The only con I would say is that it shuts off when it gets too hot after about 20 minutes of filming, but I mean, I'm willing to put up with that. But yeah, a vlogging or blogging camera, I think it'd be a really cool gift for anyone who maybe wants to venture into that industry. Tying in with that, if you had a little bit extra to spend, I would also maybe even invest in a little bit of artificial lighting because it is so handy. It's really dark out right now. I couldn't film now if it wasn't for my ring light. It's a newer ring light. I got it about two months ago and honestly, it's a game changer. I have soft boxes there as well and they are quite a bit cheaper, but they just take up so much space. The ring light is so space efficient and I have my camera on my ring light tripod. So it kind of doubles up as a tripod and a ring light. So if you were giving someone like a little kit to start off making YouTube videos or blogging, I would definitely recommend just a ring light and a camera and maybe a memory card as well. This is another item that I never ever stop banging on about, but honestly, it's such a good price and they're such really, like really, really good headphones. I've probably had these for probably a year and a half, two years now. I've probably charged them six times the battery holds up so well on them they're bluetooth headphones so you can literally i can listen to f sounds on my phone while my phone is the other side of the room it's actually deadly if you know someone who goes to the gym regularly goes out for walks likes listening to podcasts when they're doing the housework but don't like to have all the wires definitely consider a pair of bluetooth headphones like these i really like them and they were such a good price i think they're 19.99 which is such a bargain and they're available in black white, red, and blue. Obviously I went with the blue and they fold up really nice and small. And they're still going strong a year and a half later. So that was probably one of the best 20 quids I've ever spent. Oh, if someone really likes to travel, a really, really cool, unique idea that you could get for them would be packing cubes. I have them on my Amazon wish list and have had for quite some time. They're basically little cubes that you can segregate your different types of clothes into. I don't have them myself personally, so I feel like a bit of an imposter recommending them but everyone who has them says they're a game changer they're really good for saving space when traveling and I'm sure I'll get them at some stage in the next few months because apparently they're amazing so if someone really likes to travel and likes being organized packing cubes really good idea another thing that's on my personal Amazon wish list is a hydro flask I drink water all the time I'm constantly refilling my bottles and I have plastic bottles now they are BPA free but they're still plastic and when they give up the ghost I am definitely definitely going to invest in a hydro flask not cheap but they are made from stainless steel and they keep your hot drinks hot for ages and your cold drinks cold for ages. They're super insulated and it's a really good way of making sure you're getting in plenty of fluids during the day. And I've heard amazing things about the Hydro Flask brand themselves. So I'm definitely gonna, I'm definitely gonna buy one of those for myself soon. Ooh, another thing that I would have really loved to get for Christmas if I wasn't already signed up is an Audible gift membership. I love listening to audiobooks. I've been signed up to Audible now for probably over a year I would say and every single month I go and I buy myself 
my book and sometimes I buy some extras and if someone gifted me a year-long membership I would be thrilled. If you know someone who likes listening to audiobooks and even reading and is interested in venturing towards audiobooks perhaps consider getting them a three six nine or twelve month gift membership from Audible. I think it'd be a really really cool gift and I know personally it's something I would absolutely love. I'll have it linked down below. So while editing this, I have literally just remembered that I am an Audible affiliate. So if you use the link that I have put in the description box down below, you will get a 30 day free trial, which includes one free book of your choice from any, I mean any of the selection that Audible has. Unreal. Click the link and sign up if you want to give it a go. Nothing to lose. So that is everything that I've come up with. Some pretty unique gift ideas. Let me know if you have any really cool, unique gift ideas in the comments section down below. I'd love to hear your suggestions. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye! Mwah.